Hi everyone, welcome back to another For Those Who Code video. This channel is where we learn and share skills about design and development. If you want to grow your skills and learn new things that's coming up, please like, share and subscribe for more. In this video, we'll be building a simple contact book application with the help of Firestore serving as a real-time database inside of our React application. If you guys don't know what is Firebase, neither Firestore Firebase, first of all, is a cloud service designed to power real-time collaborative applications. Firebase works with two different databases. The first one, the real-time database, is the original Firebase database product, and the second, Cloud Firestore, is new and improved version of the real-time database. Cloud Firestore, which we'll be dealing with, is a NoSQL document database that helps us to easily store, sync, and query data for our mobile and web apps at global scale. Firebase provides a lot of features uh, in the box. Features like real-time database, cloud Firestore, cloud functions, authentication, and cloud storage are some of the features that Firebase provides. Let's take a look at what we are trying to build. In our next tab here, I have opened a React app, which we are trying to build. And uh, this is a contact book application where we will have the list of contacts currently i don't have any contacts so first of all let's go ahead and add a new contact and uh, for our name of my friend i will just add nancy and just a random phone number and also a home phone number and let's also select the relation category which would be others and add a new friend so if you go back and see here, our friend has been added. And we can further also delete our contact that has been added. Let's uh, rename this to Alfred Marshall and, and submit it. And if you go back, we can see Alfred Marshall. Um, I missed the A, but Alfred Marshall has been added into our Firestore database. So we are fetching data from the Firestore and editing contacts inside of our Firestore documents and we can also delete our contact as well. So we'll be building this particular application. So without any delay, let's get started. I've already started a React project and with npx create React app and I've also added some of the packages that's needed. And these are some of the uh, dependencies that we'll be dealing with. And the first one is Firebase, of course. And we'll also make the use of .env and also React Router uh, with React Router DOM. And we'll be also adding UUID uh, to generate unique IDs of our documents uh, stored inside of our uh, file store. And um, let's now go ahead and create a fresh new database inside of our Firebase. After logging into uh, Firebase, then you can uh, see this particular uh, interface right here where we can create a new uh, project right here. Uh, I have already created uh, a project before, which is contact book. So we'll be making a different name. So this would be uh, contact uh, book app so let's click on continue and we don't want to integrate any google analytics for now so let's disable this one and create a project so our project is ready to go so let's go to continue and inside here as we can see here that our project contact book app has been successfully created and we can make the use of features like authentication Cloud Firestore, real-time database, storage, hosting, cloud functions, and also even machine learning as well. So we'll be uh, taking a look at Cloud Firestore, and obviously uh, we'll probably go to authentication uh, in our next um, video. Let's go to Firestore for now. So inside of our Firestore, let's create a database. And we can see here uh, a model which says start in production or start in test mode. So uh, we want to start in test mode for now because uh, it's just for development purposes. So I don't have any intention to deploy this particular application uh, elsewhere. So um, the thing that's uh, needed to be noticed is uh, in the next 30 days, this application, this database would get, um, get destroyed. 
So if you are trying to uh, deploy a particular application, so you should uh, rather choose production mode. So for now, uh, for this purpose, I will just choose test mode and hit on next. And uh, we want to uh, enable this uh, fire fire store location where we will uh, choose AC and Northeast three and enable. And now we can see that our database is ready to go. And let's uh, go to our uh, start collection right here. And we can uh, create a collection. So as we discussed before, this is no SQL. Uh, so similar to what MongoDB is. So we'll create a collection and call it contact and click on next. And let's model our data. Uh, for modeling our data, we'll have some fields and we will just uh, auto generate id for now but we will be definitely going through ui id which uh, will be generating unique id for our documents and for our fields i will just add name which is a string and let's call it alfred for now and let's add another field which is phone and let's um it's a number and uh the value is just a random for now and let's uh, add another which is cell and this is also a number and this is home phone number and let's add another last field which would be uh, category and this would be also a string uh, so I'll just choose string and the value would be others for now and let's save this one and as you can see here our document has been created with the fields um like category cell name phone uh, as well so and we have the uh, unique id generated auto generated here as well so uh, let's go ahead and integrate the, this uh, to fetch all the contact of our firestore into inside of our react application first for integrating firestore inside of our react apps we'll go to project settings and there are no apps added in your project so let's go and add it so we're using react for web so that's why we are choosing web app so let's name this um, contact app and let's also set up for base hosting it's a free to get started anytime so let's register app for now and the next step would be adding firebase sdk and we'll be uh, using a different method for adding a SDK. So let's click on next. And uh, we can make the use of Firebase tools uh, using NPM as a package manager. But we'll be just continuing with everything right here. And let's go to config right here. And you can see our app keys and all the keys are ready for us. So let's copy this one. And let's go to our project and let's make the use of uh, these keys uh, that are provided to connect with Firestore. So inside our project here, we'll go to source and we already made a util folder. So we'll uh, make the use of uh, this folder and create a new file inside utils, which would be config.js. And inside here, we'll be adding configuration for our Firestore app that we just copied and let's paste it right here uh, and to hide these api keys um, it's really uh, vulnerable to expose these api keys so we'll be making the use of dot n files ultimately and eventually i will delete this particular database as well later on so this is just a dummy database that we are trying to um, play with in our development environment so uh, let's first import uh, firebase which i have already installed through a uh, yarn so firebase from a firebase app and then we will also import firebase and firestore and also uh, we will um, initialize our firebase so for initialization we can write uh, firebase dot initial uh, initialize app and we will pass this firebase uh, config object right here and let's ultimately export our constant export default firebase 
Now let's create a dot in file inside of our SRC or maybe outside of our SRC. We will create dot n and we also have installed another package which is called a dot n and I guess a react um, out of the box doesn't provide a dot n so um, I'm creating just dot n for uh, hiding our API keys so uh, I will create some variables inside here inside of our config.json file I have added process.n and all the keys uh, that needs to be hidden and inside of our components right here uh, we will create a new file and call it contact list.js and uh, inside here I'll create a function uh, with contact list and this function will return a JSX and inside here we will just add a div for now and call it contact list and also eventually export this constant we created now we also need to make the use of use effect and use state hook so for that one we will just import use effect and use state from react and we also want to import our config that we created from firebase um, which is inside utils config so our uh, import firebase and we also need is uh, link and use history from react to router dome and we will also create our style so let's import styles and we haven't created our css models for this one so we will just name our uh, css model to uh, contact list.css now inside of our contact list let's uh, make the use of use state hook where we will create two constant one is contact and another is set contact and also we want to create another constant and call it ref which reference to our collection and inside here it's con not contact book but rather contact book app now let's create a use effect hook where we will will be calling um, a function which takes you know, which grabs all the list of contacts that we have and we will create um, this function name as uh, get contact list and we haven't really created this function so we will also create another constant where we will have our get contact list and inside here we will uh, make the use of our uh, firebase that we imported from utils so uh, ref dot on snapshot which is a method that fire uh, base provides uh, which take query snapshot as a parameter and we created a empty array list where for each document we just post document the data inside this empty array that we created and ultimately set contact to list so that we can make the use of this contact and loop it over inside of our uh, template right here after mapping all the contacts that we have we will also import this particular contact list component inside of our app.js file. So let's remove some of these logo and uh, previous code here and import our contact list right here. Inside of our app.js file, we uh, basically created some switch and a route, which is the home route, just slash, which takes in the component contact list and which would be our home component so if we hit, hit save and take a look at the browser we uh, don't have any contact now so we will uh, it must have one contact we made a mistake uh, in our naming our collection which should be contact and uh, after renaming it and if we just take a look at the browser we have our data which is fetched from our fire store and um, we have our Alfred here inside of our contact book and inside here inside of our fire store we have Alfred as well so let's go ahead and uh, make some functionality for edit also uh, for the delete contact first of all let's go with delete contact so uh, for delete contact let's create a function 
So delete contact function uh, takes ID as a parameter and it takes a reference to our Firestore config and um, it takes on um, the doc method takes ID as a parameter and we have other uh, methods that chained uh, dot delete and uh, lastly the catch if we do have any er errors so um, our delete contact um, function must be placed inside of our button so let's go ahead and place that inside of our um, delete which should be this one so inside here let's write uh, delete contact which takes c dot id as a parameter now let's also make another constant for uh, editing our contacts so uh, editing contact will take id as a parameter and it pushes to edit contact uh, plus id so this is a route that we want to push this application so let's um, add edit contact to our button as well let's copy our delete and uh, inside of our edit right here let's change this to edit contact that we created and this obviously takes c.id as a parameter as well let's hit c and as you can see here we haven't imported history so let's import link as well as use history from react to route dom we also need to create another constant history is called the use history so that we can make the use of history we also do need to add routes to our app.js file currently we do have just one route so let's add another route here as well which is contact edit form and let's also add another route inside here so we haven't really created that component which is contact edit form so we will create that component inside of our components inside here we'll create a function and name it contact add form which takes route as a parameter because we want to take uh, route.params.id from that route that's why the route is in inside of uh, parenthesis and uh, we will also return some jsx let's also export our contact add form hit, hit it save and if we take refresh and click on contact then we can see here it's undefined because um, I think we have not properly created this particular ID but we will fix that certainly and for now uh, what we can do here is we can just uh, add some template for the forms that needs to be uh, edited I've already added some uh, form template that's needed so if we take a look at uh, the form it looks something like this now uh, let's go ahead and uh, import some of the necessary things that we need first of all let's import uh, use state and use effect and then uh, we also need um, is to import firebase from our utils now we have already imported uh, everything that's needed now inside of our this function right here we will create an ID which uh, which is route.match.params.id uh, it, it's basically the ID assigned uh, which is now in our route params and we also want to make the use of um, contact and set contact so that we can uh, first pull in the data that we need uh, with the help of use effect and uh, we also want is uh, to create another constant which takes a reference to the firebase collection and name it ref as we defined before and let's also create um, our use effect hook uh, this uh, get contact list is a function that we haven't created so let's go ahead and create that function as well and as we can see that contact has been defined but not used so let's make the use of our contact right inside of our form fields values so first one would be contact.me and second is contact.sill and then uh, contact.phone and c.category inside of our value uh, select options that we have and we can see here that name is uh, undefined so we also need to add another 
um, on change handler here as well so that our um, changes to this particular function is updated in the state so now after uh, placing all the handle on change function we also need to create handle on chain function so let's go ahead and create it so our handle on change function uh, takes user key and value as a parameter and we spread the contact and our user key and value is um, set with the help of set contact now uh, let's also add our handle form summit to our form submission we haven't really defined our handle submit let's also create a function for our handle submit as well inside of our button we will also make the use of loading which is initially false and we will also um, add uh, set loading right here inside of handle submit so that we can show the spinner when set loading is true and hide the spinner when set loading is false which is inside of this button and the operator logical operators are working here as you can see here we haven't really um, got the id yet but definitely we will delete this one and create a new form so uh, for creating a new form uh, we will just add a new component contact uh, add form for now we will just manually delete this one so we will delete this document and we have an empty document right here so uh, let's not worry about the empty, empty document because we'll be eventually adding the contact with uh, contact add form uh, for this one we'll create a function and call it contact add form which will return some JSX and let's also export our function that we created as you can see here after clicking on add new contact we can uh, go to add contact but we don't see our add contact a component that we created so for that one we'll also add our new route inside here which is a new contact or contact add form let's also import contact add form let's hit save and if we take a look at the browser we have add contact inside of our browser which is coming from contact add form which is great so now let's first import all the things that's needed firstly let's import new state from react let's also import a link from react router dom we also want to import firebase from our utils config and we also need another thing that is uui id to generate unique ids from for our entries inside of our documents and finally i also imported css model of add contact.css as well which is right here so now inside of our contact form Firstly, let's make the use of uh, our use state hook. So for that one, we will um, create two constant con contact and set contact. So this basically uh, generates ID uh, with U UI ID uh, and um, contact and set contact. So we will have our set, set contact when we handle our summit of our forms. Before that one, we will also create another constant, which is rep from our Firestore collection, which is this one, which we created before as well. And let's also um, make the use of uh, loaders. So we will add loading and set loading with the help of use state hook. And initially, this is false. So we don't see uh, any loaders initially. Now let's write some templates of our form inside of our uh, return right here now after adding all the template that's needed we will also make the use of value and on change handler for each of our input and select ui element as well for the select we will make the use of contact dot relation which is i guess it's a category so we will name this category we also need to create a function for handle on change so let's create another function for handle on change as well and currently it says set loading is assigned but uh, it's never used and ref is assigned but also never used so let's make the use of ref 
to make the use of ref we need to uh, first create handle submit function for our forms uh, before that one let's add all the value and on change handlers to all the input that we have like before i've already added value and on change handler for all the inputs that we have and finally we will also add an handle submit to our forms and also create a handle submit function and inside of our handle submit function uh, it is a synchronous function which uh, first tells the loading to be true so that we show the loader and um, the riff which we uh, have taken from uh, the utils far store and we have used dot doc and dot set two methods that is available to us and inside uh, dot doc we just passed in the contact id that we have which is taken from uh, the ui id right here which is generated uniquely for each of our elements that inserted inside of our documents and set contact would uh, create a new object of name a phone and then a cell and category and finally set the loading to false and let's format a bit and hit save and if we take a look at the browser and refresh we don't have any errors in the, in the console that's great let's go ahead and add some contacts and a random phone number and select a relation which is cousin and add a new contact and we have a warning but we will ignore that warning for now let's go back and as you can see here we have eva mendes added and let's go ahead and delete this contact as well and it it's working great because we just added a ui id ourselves and if we take a refresh itself inside of our far store then we must see a document that's added oh we deleted it but let's add a new one alfred marshall and add a phone number and also home and add a category which is cousin and it's just a warning for now let's go back and we can see alfred marshall and if we hit on refresh then we can see alfred marshall here as well as alfred marshall inside of our fire store we have already added uh, all the basic functionality that we are trying to achieve uh, with add new contacts edit new contacts and also even contact list as well so let's go ahead and quickly test it out inside of our browser so initially we don't have any contacts let's go ahead and add one alfred marshall again so which is gordon let's add a new one let's go back and we can see alfred marshall here let's edit alfred marshall and we can see here alfred marshall is populated and let's name it to ema adam and submit we can see the loader for some seconds which is great and we can see the change which is ema adam as well let's go ahead and delete this one and it's deleted as well and we can also go ahead and create a dummy one just to reassure everything is working fine let's go back and we can see uh, our dummy contact has been created as well so guys in this video we built a simple working contact book application with the help of firebase and react i hope this video was really useful for you all thank you so much for watching my videos if you guys want to learn more about design and development please like share and subscribe with a click down below i'll be trying to make more better videos like this see you in the next one